Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. It looks like you're watching me play music on this Game Boy. And it looks like you're curious about how to do this yourself. Oh, but you don't have a Game Boy? No problem. Do you have a laptop or a computer? You do? That's perfect. That's all you need to get started, and I'll show you how. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Chipopotamus, and I make music with a Game Boy. In this series of videos, I will be teaching you LSDJ. We'll do this by creating a song step by step, and along the way we'll learn all of the basics of LSDJ. By the end of the series, you'll have a solid understanding of LSDJ and the ability to create music on a Game Boy. In this first video, I'm going to introduce you to LSDJ and show you how to set it up on your computer. If you want to use an actual Game Boy, check out this other video I made that goes into more detail about how to do that. So your Game Boy is just a computer, a the old one by today's standards, but it's custom made to do one thing play games. And logically, if it's just a computer, you should be able to play Game Boy games on any computer, right? Sort of. Every computer's operating system is different. That's why you can't use Windows apps on your Mac, for example. For the Game Boy, a lot of amazing folks have created emulators, emulators. that allow you to play Game Boy games on various operating systems. This is how we'll load LSDJ onto your computer. Once you do this, in theory, you could just use your computer to make chip music and never actually play it on a Game Boy. Pretty amazing, right? And I promise you that in spite of what anyone says, the music that comes out of your computer will sound pretty much like it would coming out of your Game Boy. Hardware only haters, I see you. Drop a comment below letting me know why I'm wrong. I personally prefer using hardware, but being able to use your computer to work on projects is a pretty powerful tool. What is LSTJ? It's a computer program written for the Game Boy operating system. It lets you create music by sequencing notes and phrases and then chaining them together to create songs. The next video will go into much greater detail about this. For now, just know that it's software you use to write music on your Game Boy. Step one is to download LSDJ. As of this recording, the latest stable version is 851, so that's what we'll be using for this tutorial. Extract the lsdj.gb file and keep it handy. This is the ROM that we'll be loading later. Next is the emulator. If you're on a PC, download the latest version of Retroplug. Once it's downloaded, extract the files and open it. Double click on the window and select the previously downloaded lsdj.gb file. Once that's done, LSDJ will load and you're good to go. If you're on a Mac, Retroplug isn't currently supported, so we'll be using OpenEBU instead. Go to the website and download the latest version. Open the file and make sure you select Game Boy on the left hand side. Find your previously downloaded LSDJ.GB file and drag and drop it onto the window. And that's it, you're set. This next step is optional. You can control LSDJ using just your keyboard, so there's no extra hardware needed. That said, I'm using this USB NES controller to control LSDJ, and I'll post the link below. I find this easier to use in the keyboard, and if you end up using a real Game Boy eventually, the muscle memory you build up will transfer perfectly. And for me, I've actually developed muscle memory on the Game Boy, so it's pretty hard for me to learn the keyboard shortcuts or get used to it. Let's set this up. I couldn't get the controller to work directly with Retroplug, so we need to add an extra step. We'll be using this program Anti-Micro to map the buttons of the controller to key presses. Axis 1 through 4 all map to left and right, but you only need to set Axis 1, so set it to left and right. Axis 5 maps to up and down, so set that to up and down now. Map button 2 to D. This is A on your gamepad. Map button 3 to W. This is B on your gamepad. Map button 9 to control, and either left or right control is fine. This is select on your gamepad. Map button 10 to enter. This is start on your gamepad. And that's it. We're all set up and ready to make songs. In the next tutorial, we'll dig into the basics of LSDJ and really get started. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. If you like what you see, please consider liking or subscribing to the channel. I'm seeing all of your comments and your requests and I love them. I appreciate it. Please keep it coming. I have so many great ideas now about what to do next and I will try to get to as many of these great ideas that you've been giving me 
as soon as I can. Thanks again and see you in the next one. See ya.